Hi there. This toy's title is Ganesha's Sweet Tooth by Sanjay Patel and Emily Haynes. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ganesha is a Hindu god. He's very important and powerful and a tad chubby. But when he was a kid, he was just like any other kid. Except that he had an elephant head and cruised along on a magical mouse collecting fruit, rice, sweets and other gifts from the temples in his neighborhood. Ganesha loved to eat sweets and candy, especially the traditional Indian dessert, laddu. His best friend, Mr. Mouse, could eat only one at a time, which was okay by Ganesha. He didn't want to share all his laddus. Squeak! One day, while Ganesha and Mr. Mouse were out looking for sweets, they discovered a new kind of laddu. The Super Jumbo Jawbreaker Laddu. Ganesha snatched up the shiny treat and was about to eat it right there on the spot. Wait! squeaked Mr. Mouse. Don't eat it. It's a jawbreaker. It'll break your tusk. But I am God, said Ganesha. I am invincible. Ganesha popped the Laddu in his mouth. He bit down and... Squeak! Oh, no! Mr. Mouse yelled. How will I ever put my task back on? Ganesha wailed. Ganesha was very clever and tried all sorts of ideas. What if I tie it on the string? What if I stick it on the glue? Maybe I could just hold it on with my hand. But nothing worked. I look lopsided, he said. Everyone will laugh at me. No, they won't, said Mr. Mouse. Everyone loses their teeth. And besides, you already have an elephant's head and your friends still love you. Karisha wasn't convinced. He thought he looked awful. He took all his anger and frustration and hurled his tusk at the moon. But the tusk didn't hit the moon. It sailed over a bush and hit the head of an old man who was walking by. Is this your tusk? The old man asked. I am sorry, said Ganesha. I didn't mean to hit you. I was aiming for the moon. What is your name? I am Ganesha and this is Mr. Mouse. You are Ganesha? The old man exclaimed. I've been looking for you. I'm Vyasa, the poet, and I need a special scribe for a poem. It's so long that no man could ever write the whole thing. All the pens in the world would break before it was done. I'm not a man, said Ganesha. And I love stories, but I don't have anything to write with. What about your tusk? Vyasa asked. That's just one big tooth, Ganesha said. It is a very special tooth, Vyasa explained, handing Ganesha a piece of paper. Give it a try. Ganesha took the paper and pressed down with the tip of his tusk. It made a mark. Ganesha was so excited that he drew a flower and a tree and a picture of Mr. Mouse along with a few of his other favorite things. I love my task, said Ganesha. I'll be happy to help you. What is the story about? The beginning of things, said Vyasa. It's rather hard to sum up. It's called the Mahabharata. Excuse me, said Mr. Mouse, jumping on the end of Karnesha's trunk. I don't mean to interrupt, but what exactly are the terms of this agreement? It is a very long poem after all. Can you tell the whole story in one go, Vyasa? No stopping? 
As long as Ganesha understands the meaning of everything I say. Can I eat sweets while I write? asked Ganesha. As long as you don't stop writing, said Vyasa. Ganesha and Mr. Mouse agreed. Let's begin! As Vyasa spoke, Ganesha put his tusk to the paper and began writing. Soon, he forgot all about the Super Jumbo Jawbreaker Laddu and how funny he looked. He even forgot about the sweets he wanted to eat. Long ago, Vyasa said, there lived a very brave king of Hastinapur. One day, when he was out hunting, he happened upon a beautiful woman sitting on the banks of the Ganga River. One hundred thousand verses later, Ganesha put down his task. The Mahabharata, the great epic of Hindu literature, was complete. Ganesha peeked around a stack of paper and saw that Mr. Mouse had been eating his way through the laddus as they worked. The poem had taken a very long time. But Ganesha was happy to see there were still a few left for him and his friends. The end. Thanks for watching. For more exciting read aloud stories, please subscribe to our channel Little Heart Super Kids. Also follow us on Instagram for amazing updates.